Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is our 48th tutorial of Power BI. In the previous class, we have studied about scheduled refresh in Power BI services. And now in today's class, we will introduce about one more feature of Power BI services, which name is subscription. So firstly, we will understand what is subscription and why we need to use this feature. In general terms, guys, if we talk about subscription, so if you subscribe any YouTube channel or any other channel, you will get notified that this thing you need to watch. And it's also tell you that new content comes under this channel because you have subscribed that particular channel. So in very similar way, we have a feature in Power BI services, which name is subscription, where we can notify to that member that this is the report guys and you have to see this report because in busy schedule in offices, people forgetting to see the reports frequently. So we can set subscription here guys through Power BI services so that person can see this report and get to notify that on this particular timing you need to look into this report because as you know guys the data and report keep changing in Power BI. So it is important for managers to get to know what is actually going on in our reports. So here subscription means that how you notify to that particular report to your colleagues or your manager. And now let's understand how to implement subscription in Power BI services. So let's go to the Power BI services page. So here is the workspace guys and this is the report which I have already opened. Now you need to click on these three dots and here you can see the option of subscribe. So you need to click on this option and once you click it new box has pop up. So you need to click on this add new subscription. So here guys we can see this cover page has already selected. Now here guys you can enter that email ID of that person with whom you want to get notified. Either it could be your manager or your colleague. And here guys you can add any subject line. So subject line should be related to your report guys. So you guys can enter any subject line here. Let's say tutorial 48. And if you want to add any optional message you guys can also add it here. So let me scroll down guys. This subscription is based on page basis. So if you subscribe this, so that person can only see this cover page, not whole report. So I will select sales analysis here. So guys, now person can only notify the sales analysis page, not the whole report. Now comes to the frequency guys. And under frequency setting, you guys can also change the setting. So here are four options guys, hourly, daily, weekly and monthly. So if you click this on drop down, you will see all the options. So let me change into the weekly guys. And now I want to add a day like every Monday people will get notified and they can see our report on every Monday. So let me uncheck this all the days and from here guys, you can also schedule your time. So you guys can set any timing from here. So I will set 4 p.m. That means every Monday at 4 p.m. subscription email will auto send to that person whose email ID you have mentioned here. And from here guys you can also change the time format. Now comes to the start date and end date. So under start date guys today date is already selected and you guys can skip this end date. And now comes to these three options. So you guys can leave it as it is. And if we talk about the fourth option, which is full report attachment, and this is for the premium user. And if premium user can enable this checkbox, they can convert the whole report into PDF. So let me show you the screenshot, guys. So here is the screenshot, guys, where user can transform the whole report into PDF. Let me go back to our report and click on save and close. And once you apply save and close guys, email will send to that person whose email ID you have shared in subscription. And whatever the timing and days you have selected there, the email will get to that person on that particular same day and timing. And now I will show you the screenshot guys that how he will notify. So here is the screenshot guys. So in this way, he will receive an email in Outlook. Now let's go to the Power BI services and again go to the subscribe option and from here guys you can also manage your subscription and once you click this toggle button your notification will stop 
and you can also add multiple subscription from here. So for more learning about Power BI, stay connect with us. And those who are new to this channel, kindly hit the subscribe button. And please press the bell icon else you will miss an update. For job assistance, you guys can connect me on LinkedIn. Thank you so much guys for your more love and support. Thank you very much.